Good morning. Charles had the fire going in the yurt all night long. He woke up at 2 o'clock in the morning with an alarm and he came out here and fed the fire to keep the temperature of the bricks above 60 degrees Fahrenheit all night. Let's go see what he's up to. Everything's over 60. How are you feeling about this project, Charles? Nervous. I've never done this before. I don't want to screw it up. Don't want to waste fire bricks. Charles started off with a just add water style of mortar, safe for use in a fireplace situation. The instructions said to keep the batches small enough to use in 30 minutes. So he mixed it up and started laying bricks. But the mix was grainy and not very sticky, and it just didn't seem quite right. Behind the camera, I tried stirring the mix in the bowl to keep it fresh, but that didn't help much either. It's going to be setting up quick. Not what I've seen in videos. Way too much. It's also setting up on me. So you're going to try a different product? Yes. It's many hours later. The yurt is still toasty, so toasty that my glasses instantly fogged up. And we've been to town and brought back a new product that Charles is itching to try out. Go ahead and recoat the tops of what I did before so it'll be nice and smooth. This new pre mixed mortar looked like just what Charles was looking for, and it had the added benefit of a lower minimum curing temperature of 40 instead of 60 degrees Fahrenheit, so no more getting up in the middle of the night to add more wood to the stove. So how's it going this time? Much better. This product is much creamier and easier to fit everything together tight. It will act more like a sealant, which is what I need. It's just to seal all this stuff and it will also hold everything together. 
So, so far, this is going pretty well. In a previous video, we talked about how a rocket mass heater works, and approximately what this one will look like when it's finished, so I'll include a link to that in case you missed it. With his momentum back, Charles used up one tube of mortar on that first day and another on the second day. Then he just needed to keep the yurt warm enough to let it cure. How hard was it to keep this place warm for three days in a row? Actually not bad. The first night I got up at two in the morning to come stoke the stove, but I could have gone longer and the last two days I've let it go all night long and it still had enough coals the next morning to start the fire back up. And the coldest place in the yurt this morning? 50 degrees, which is about what it gets in our trailer when, at night. The mortar has been curing now for I don't know, 18 hours. It's supposed to cure for 24 hours at above 40 degrees and then it's supposed to be cured with heat within 30 days. They want you to actually fire it above a certain temperature, 250 degrees or something. It's kind of like ceramic. It fires the mortar and hardens it. So that'll have to be done within 30 days. So I've got, still got a lot of work to do to get to where we can fire this thing. We need to find a barrel that we put over the top of this and I've got to build up a, I'm going to use brick, put a brick plenum around the bottom of the barrel that'll then go into the flue, which will go out into it, out into this area, back over, and then back up and out. And then you'll light a fire inside the burn chamber. Yes. And we can do that with an open front, it just won't be as efficient. But eventually I want to make a nice front with a door with a piece of glass in it so we could see in it. And then there's one more thing that Charles wanted to do to prepare for the rocket mass heater. And that is to reinforce the load bearing capacity of the yurt platform right underneath. And I'm getting ready to put up the extra support for our rocket mass heater. The extra weight. I'm just going to try to Put some extra joists up here to uh, support more weight. Probably not absolutely necessary, but overkill is better than underkill, so. We appreciate you joining us for another project, and we look forward to sharing the rest of the rocket mass heater build. Please join us again soon to see how we are adapting to winter camping in our new climate, and how many parts of the yurt interior can get done before the spring.